Hi, my name is Sean Phelan, and I'm here to talk about federal minimum wage and why it should be increased. Now, what is federal minimum wage? Federal minimum wage is considered to be the lowest uh, legal amount an employer is allowed to compensate an hourly employee. Currently, it sits at $7.25 an hour and has gone unchanged since July 24th of 2009. Now, how is it determined? It's determined. Its original determination in 1938, when it was passed by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, was based around the idea of the poverty line, which at the time was considered uh, to be the average cost of food for one individual multiplied by three so that the average person working um, a standard work week could provide for themselves and two other individuals. Currently, a person working a 40-hour work week, which is considered to be average nowadays, uh, can expect to be compensated about $15,000 gross annual income, which after taxes uh, and other uh, things being taken out would put them just below the poverty line. Now, about 40% of states in the United States today do not have a minimum wage above the federal level. Now, this affects mostly the southeastern and mountain west regions of the United States, which do have lower costs of living. However, due to inflation, the average person would need to earn about $6,000 more a year to have the same buying power that they did 13 years ago uh, when the last federal minimum wage was increased. Now this is due to cumulative inflation, which has uh, achieved levels of approximately 39% since the last time things have changed in 2009. Now why must we see change? There is not a, a single state in the United States today where uh, a single person can afford on their own, um, working an average work week, uh, earning minimum wage uh, to a, a rent a, a, a one-bedroom apartment. Um, now, how can we see changes to minimum wage? Minimum wage uh, increases can be introduced by um, members of the Senate as well as sponsored representatives um, towards Congress, which can be passed by simple majority which will be regulated and enforced by the U.S. Department of Labor. Now, if someone is to blame for a lack of increases, one can look towards Congress as they are the ones responsible for, uh, for passing uh, into law solutions for, um, for issues towards federal minimum wage. Uh, the Congress is divided into two major political parties here in the U.S., the Democratic and Republican parties who generally have opposing views on this matter. The Republican Party generally leaning uh, in opposition of federal minimum wage increases and the Democratic Party leaning uh, in favor of uh, federal minimum wage increases. Now the reason for um, general opposition of federal minimum wage increases would be massive job loss and effects to the economy which studies show, uh, at least at the state level. Uh, we have not seen uh, massive job loss when uh, we have increased the, uh, the minimum wage to a, above the, um, the federal level. As well, um, studies uh, uh, show that when an individual's income increases, they generally spend more money on leisure and recreation, which can have positive effects on the economy. As well, when conversations of minimum wage and tip-based incomes are introduced to Congress, it addresses long-standing racial and gender biased issues that have surrounded these topics. Finally, it is paramount that we uh, increase federal minimum wage levels because so many Americans have undergone um, incredible uh, financial difficulties in the past few years, specifically due to COVID um, and uh, international conflicts that have uh, rapidly increased the price of groceries um, and oil, which the uh, average American uh, feels uh, very strongly uh, in their monthly budget. Um, so increases to uh, federal minimum wage would greatly help uh, most people.